The overall goal of this procedure is to use yeast as an experimental platform to assess and analyze the toxicity associated with polyglutamine expansion proteins. Following growth of yeast under conditions that repress polyglutamine expression, three complementary growth assays of yeast cells expressing a toxic polyglutamine expansion protein are performed to reliably assess toxicity. In the first growth assay demonstrated here, polyglutamine toxicity is monitored through a plating assay. As a second, complementary growth assay, a spotting assay is utilized to detect even subtle differences in cell growth. The most quantitative approach is shown in the third assay, where yeast cells are grown in liquid cultures and toxicity is monitored through observation of optical density at 600 nanometers. Ultimately, reproducible and quantitative results can be obtained that document polyglutamine toxicity in yeast cells through careful examination of their growth on plates and in liquid cultures. This method can answer key questions in the field of protein misfolding disorders, such as deciphering the genetic and cellular underpinnings of the toxicity associated with misfolded proteins, including polyglutamine proteins. A systematic analysis has established the precise amino acid sequence of a poly-Q expansion protein that is required to produce toxicity in yeast. This toxic poly-Q expansion protein contains an amino terminal flag tag, followed by 17 amino acids from the original sequence of the Huntington protein, a poly-Q region, and a carboxy terminal fusion to a fluorescent protein. Yeast cells expressing the otherwise toxic poly-Q expansion proteins may not show any growth defect due to spontaneous...